The Magi traveled for a long time to reach Bethlehem. Some historians believe it took them over two years to get there. Wow, that's a long time to travel. That means the entire trip took four years all together. Wow, they braved the harsh desert and possibly dangerous roads to bring their gifts to Jesus. This shows you how much it meant to these wise men to see the baby Jesus and worship him for themselves. Knowing what Jesus has done for us and why he was born should give us all a reason to praise God. Jesus is God's son. He is the promised savior who came to save us from our sins. Jesus came to give us eternal life and a joy that will never end. For all these reasons, we need to take the time to praise God this Christmas. When we worship God on Sundays, we mostly do it through song. Our praise and worship time is when we use music to thank God for the joy Jesus has given us. Of course, we don't have to limit our praise to Sundays. We can listen to songs of praise all week and worship at home, in the car, and everywhere we go. I do that too. I have it on my phone. I have a playlist for my favorite worship songs. At Christmas time, we even have more opportunities to praise God if we're willing to take them. A good portion of the Christmas music we hear this time of year is about the story of Jesus. But oftentimes, we don't slow down to listen. We love to sing along with, you know, Maria Carey on, she sings, all I want for Christmas is you. Come on, admit it. Some of you really like this song. I do. But how many of us take the opportunity to maybe listen to Josh Groban's Oh Holy Night as a chance to worship God? It's an incredibly beautiful worship song from him. I'm not saying we can't laugh along with Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer or rap along to, I don't know, Christmas and Hollis, but when we hear songs like Silent Night, Joy to the World, O Come All Ye Faithful, Angels We Have Heard on High, my group quartet is singing that this Christmas year, for, and we love it, and Away in a Manger. We need to sing them with even more enthusiasm than I wish it was Christmas today. Christmas music is everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Like really early this year. <laughs> that means we can be praising God everywhere. At school, at the mall, in the car. We can be like the wise men. We can take every opportunity to praise God for the joy of Christmas. The greatest treasure we have is a joy that Jesus brought us. You hear that kids? That word keeps coming up a lot. Joy. <laughs> Jesus came to save us from our sins and if we are wise we will praise God for sending us so much joy. Let's listen for the Christmas songs that honor our Savior this week. And let's praise him every chance we get. It's the least we can do to honor him for what he's done for us. Okay, we're gonna end with a prayer now. Now you can keep your eyes open or close your eyes. Dear God, we praise you for all the joy you have given us. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, right. Well, you know, instead of saying you look through the toy box, you could just say like, what's in that toy box? Yeah. And then I could say, well, she has many treasures in here. Yeah. Uh, my, you know, like that and just talk like that. Okay. No, we don't need to videotape. <laughs> Boy. Yeah. You, yeah. You, 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 I bet Mandy would be thrilled to see her puppy in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> don't call it. That could sound like something totally different. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to put that in the bloopers. Oh. <laughs> How'd you do it? Oh. Okay, no, we're not gonna include that. Joy to the world. Sorry. The Lord is. <laughs>